Once a pacer, always a pacer, right? I'm always checking you guys out from there, just checking out the program. And as alumni, always proud to see that the, the, the program is, is moving, moving in the right direction. So um, I was thinking about what I could say to you guys and maybe kind of leave an impact. I think what Coach shared is so important. You know, I didn't get any offers my senior year at Lakers. I was the number one wide receiver, but I was 5'10", 133 pounds. And colleges thought I was too small. So it motivated me to work harder in track. So I got a full ride in track at Oregon. And then the next year, begged the coach to let me walk home. And as Coach mentioned, made the team. I didn't have a great college career. I got three passes my freshman year, three passes my sophomore year, 20 passes my junior year, 19 my senior year. I had one touchdown. But went on to play nine years in the NFL. And I'm not a Hall of Famer. I never made the Pro Bowl. I don't even consider myself a famous former player. But here's what I can tell you guys and why you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you after this. In the last 40 plus years, there has not been an NFL player who played longer than me that weighed under 160 pounds. I played nine years at 5'10", 157 pounds. I know what it's like have your back against the wall. I know what it's like to prove the doubters wrong. I know what it's like to make the impossible possible. So think about that as you guys go into this season. No matter what happened last year, think about that, how you can make the impossible possible. And I'm going to share with you probably the first tip or first lesson I learned when I got to the NFL. It was my rookie year. We were doing one-on-ones, first time in pads doing one-on-ones and I'm going against this guy, Hanford Dixon, 10-year vet, <coughs> not the same athlete, ran a 4-6. I was fresh and new, so I was running a 4-3. I'm like, okay, I got him, I'm gonna get by him. Gave him a little move, he locked me up and he threw me on the ground out of bounds. I looked up and I was like, dang, dude, it's just practice. You know what he said? He turned around, he got in my face, he said, rookie in the NFL every day is game day. It was a wake-up call for me to understand that this is the NFL. You bring your best every day. Not just at, you know on games on Sunday. It's Monday through Sunday. And that was one of the lessons I learned that I think was key to be playing as long as I did. So I want all you guys to think about that. What if you, 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 all of you collectively treated every day like it was game day? You brought your best practice, meetings, film, treatment, weights, in the classroom, outside the classroom. You guys do that collectively, something magical will happen this season, no doubt about it. But if you do it, you're going to create something you're going to reflect on later on. Now, I'm 58 years old, and I think about the times I played as an athlete in high school, college, and the NFL. You know what the best years of my life was that senior year playing here at Lake Ridge. We were the top team in the state. We were undefeated all year. We lost in the quarterfinals, but I never forgot that year because we were all committed as teammates to do what it took every single day. And I share that with you guys because one of the greatest pains in life is woulda, coulda, shoulda. It's regret. It's people wishing that they had done this, they had done that. They worked a little harder. They committed more. They were more disciplined. They didn't quit. You guys are building your stories right now. How do you want to be remembered? Do you guys want to be the team that's remembered as, oh, man, they were loaded with talent. They underachieved. They quit. They complained. They couldn't finish games. No. You guys want to be remembered as, oh, man, that... 2023 Lakers team, man, they brought it. They were strong as a team. They were committed and they finished strong. That's how you want to be remembered. Because I'm going to tell you this. It might be hard for you guys to understand this now. Later on, you'll be reflecting on this season. And it's either going to be positive thoughts or negative thoughts. You guys all have the control. So if you remember anything I, I said, if you don't, just remember every day is a game that you bring up every single day, full commitment and excellence, something magical will definitely happen.
Thanks for listening. Coach.